hey guys i am gautam and welcome to gmx in this video i am going to talk about my book collections okay so uh, a lot of students already asked me to make videos regarding the same that is uh, uh, the my book collections and whatever book i have read during my preparation okay i will be discussing all this in this video and i will be showing you all those books whatever i followed and i also follow in my masters and i also followed in my graduation okay so just keep watching so these are the all of my books so this is about all the inorganic chemistry books this is uh, organic chemistry books and this is these are the physical chemistry books okay so let's talk about uh, let's start from the inorganic chemistry books so the first book that is about the jd lee concise inorganic chemistry so it follows that it means the uh, if you want to uh, learn about the uh, periodic table okay then you should read this kind of books okay this book is awesome and the questions like uh in iit je from starting from iit je to iit jam to net to get you can follow these books okay for all these kind of competitive exams okay then this is about only for masters and uh graduation students the bio inorganic chemistry by ak dash okay so this is the awesome book so you can follow these books also the third one is the one of my favorite book in my life the inorganic chemistry by hui peter gitter medi as i have already told about these books okay so this is a very important book very good book the fourth one is the inorganic chemistry by muscular tar okay so this is also a very you know uh, good book for coordination chemistry so the fifth one is the general uh, and inorganic chemistry by of course rp shortcut so this is also volume one and this is the same books of volume two so volume one volume two volume one is important for basic inorganic chemistry like acidity basicity like things and volume two is important for coordination chemistry and also full periodic tables and coordination organometallic bio inorganic chemistry like that okay so these two books are the dictionary okay of chemistry you can say so another dictionary of chemistry is except the periodic table part is the ak dash volume one volume two volume four i do have also volume three but i did not find uh, right now so whatever volume one volume two volume three volume four and uh, volume the whole uh, volume is volume one to volume seven so these seven books are very very important okay that i should i do have and the sixth one is of course my uh, class 12 book so that sometimes helped me to clear my some basic concepts okay so this is as i uh, you are preparing for iit jam yeah, or net or get examination so the basic things you should have all, always remember okay so that's why this should this book is this book is very very important okay this is also uh, helps me a lot okay so the second the now coming to organic chemistry so the first is the organic chemistry i do have already the organic chemistry uh clayden books okay and this is the uh okay let me show you this is the solution manual to uh, accompany organic chemistry okay so this is the solution of uh, clayden books okay so the questions whichever in this on the clayden book you, get, you will get every solution in this book okay okay and the second book is the basic you know stereochemistry of organic molecules by shubrata shengupta so this is also a very good book for uh stereochemistry the third one is morrison Watt for basic chemistry as i have told you uh, okay and many more things are there in these books okay so the fourth one is the uh solomon's book okay so another two books i i do have that is uh il final volume one and volume two but i did not find those books so i could not show you so that's now coming to so these are the my or these are organic chemistry books okay i do have uh, other two three books but i did not find those as, as I, t I have told you that il final books i did not find so now coming to physical chemistry books the first one is the okay let me show you this is the castellan books okay so this is the very basic books and very uh, standard books international standard books okay the second book is uh, K L Kapoor Volume One. So okay, I do have only Volume One, and other volumes I I don't have. So I don't need any kind of books. So okay, I I I had some kind of uh, you know uh, Xerox copies of other volumes. Okay, but I I collected Volume One and Volume Two mainly. So then coming to it's a numerical type questions book. So this is by Omulendu Ghoshal. Okay, the third one is Quantum Chemistry by Okay. Uh, Levine. So this is a very advanced book for quantum chemistry and computational chemistry as I am uh, doing my project on uh, computational chemistry. So this book is very helpful for me. So for example, some kinds of things like density functional theory, basic quantum chemistry, like other things. Okay. The fourth one is this is a very basic book and very good book to clear the basic concepts and the language in this book are used as very, very easy. So this is a uh, Nagy and Anand physical chemistry book. Okay. So this is also a very good book. Uh, and I, I will suggest you to buy this book okay, if you want to clear the basic concepts okay with uh, with some simple languages okay the sixth one is quantum chemistry by mercury so this is also one of the best book for quantum chemistry that i should i do have the last one is quantum chemistry by 
R K Prashad. Okay, so this is also a very basic book. Okay, so all these books generally helped me to clear my basic concepts. So if you uh, don't have uh, some kind of books, or if you want to buy some kind of books, you can follow any of these books. So these are the all of my books that I do have a lot of inorganic chemistry books, but physical chemistry and organic chemistry books are limited. Uh, generally, in generally, what I do for uh, physical chemistry, I do have my professor's class notes, so that helps me a lot. And other things I can find it from the internet, like things. Okay. And for organic chemistry, this some kind of these books and the Clayton and I L Finner books are enough. Okay, and other is I can find from the internet also. Okay, so I uh, generally don't only I I have a lot of books you can see, but uh, along with this, I generally follow the other things like internet, YouTube, like that, like like those things. Okay, so if you don't have all those books or you don't have the capability to buy all those books, you can also read from internet from PDF file. Okay, so you can uh, read all those things from there. So this will help you a lot. Okay, so if you don't have all those books, or if, if you can't, if you are unable to buy all these books, then also you can easily gain knowledge from the internet. Okay, so internet is a very fast thing. So my corrections are there. And if you want to buy some kind of book, so I will suggest to try to buy all these kinds of books because these are the one of the best books in the market. Okay, so that will of course boost your knowledge. Okay, so whatever that's all about this video and thank you. Thanks for watching.